Oh, that was crazy. What's up guys, Eric, I'm out here with the Outcast Hybrid, uh, Outcast Typhon Hybrid. Um, uh, first of all, you know, not to be uh, confused with like a Trugified Typhon uh, platform, uh, this is basically full-on Outcast, Outcast towers and arms and everything. Uh, it just has a Typhon body on it. Uh, the reason for that is it does fly better, you know, not as much air resistance and it just, and it just looks freaking cool. <laughs> so, um, I do have some uh, backflip LPs on here now, you know, they are vented. Um, a couple things in here is I did go ahead and go to this M2C ZRS uh, bladderless uh, shock caps or shock system and, and pistons. Um, I'm just gonna give those a try on here. Hobby Star uh, 1730 a KV uh, a 4092 paired with a Max 8. And also I'm gonna be testing out, as I said in my last video, this Zoske uh, 35 uh, kilogram servo. Um, I mean it's, it's butter smooth and really quiet. And it does have a lot of torque <clears throat> excuse me it's just not it's just not really fast but i mean for bashing you know i mean for for a 39 dollar servo on amazon that's not bad at all and i'll put a link to that down in the description but i'm gonna definitely be giving that a test out here and just and just see what the truck up. set up again you know I'm, I'm running a 20 tooth on here with a 60k uh, fluid in the front 500 in the center and uh and a 20 in the rear so i'm on 6s and uh i'll be giving this thing a whirl i did change out a few bearings i just kind of took my time and just went through the truck so let's just uh, let's just see how she does. Oh. I don't know how many flips that was. And that was a hard slap. All right, guys, on that last jump, I mean, these uh, landings are uh, pretty hard out here in this uh, gravel, and it uh, stripped out the servo. I mean, she's completely locked up. <laughs> Again, that was the Zoske 35 kilogram. Um, so I'm going to be honest. I mean, it, you know, it may be a decent servo for light bashing, but, you know, for harder stuff, bigger launches, landing on uh, gravel and hard surfaces, it doesn't look like she uh, stood the test. So. I'm gonna go ahead and throw in my good old uh, Power HD 23 kilogram. I'm glad I saved that. <laughs> also, another quick tip if you have a length that keeps popping off like I'm having right now, because sometimes they just get wore out, then you can't keep it on during your bash. If you just throw a, uh, you know, simply throw a body pin in there, it'll uh, hold your uh, link on. So, just a quick little quick fix it tip. Oh!
crazy. Come on, wild girl. Right, guys, that's going to be it. Um, definitely got a little bit of a diff issue, I do believe, in the rear. So <laughs> it's not very often I have diff issues, you know, if you shim this uh, outer bearing right here with an extra shim on the front and rear. Uh, sucks on the servo. Um, you know, again, I mean, it's seems like a nice servo it's really smooth and, and quiet and it does have some torque but it just uh, maybe i just had bad luck with it um but it just didn't uh, withstand the uh, rc do test so it's definitely gonna be honest with it but um this thing was a blast fun platform and uh huge shout out to uh arma and uh, m2c racing voltage hobbies i'm still running uh, old voltage towers on here they're a little bit tweaked and, and bowed just a tad you know just from years you know several years of abuse but they're still uh, holding up looks like a Got a sway bar loose here. But anyway, all right, guys, uh, you guys stay safe again, and uh, we'll see you next time. RCD81. Peace out.